Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Anna Lillian, Saira, Anna Beatriz. We got it. Good evening, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening everybody. Good evening. Good evening.
Let me get the attendance now. Ok, uh, antes de iniciar, mencionarles que la encuesta de satisfacción se hará el día de mañana. El día de mañana haremos un, un repaso de algunos temas y eh, se hará la encuesta a partir de las 8 y 30. Espero que todos la hagamos en el momento preciso. Espero que a estas alturas ya tengan las instrucciones en sus correos y nadie puede hacerla antes. Lo tenemos que hacer paso a paso. So, Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, if I already do the, uh, that I don't know how to set encuestas in English. Uh, okay. Well, the instruction, I don't know if you got in the email and they, yes. men they mentioned it that you need to wait until the day that they assign in order to do it. I don't know if you got that information. Let me check if it said that. Eh. No, no menciona nada de esperar. Oh, okay. Only said that, it, that if I do it, I have to send a screenshot. Yes, but the problem, the problem is this. Let me tell you this. I got on a schedule um, with the right time that at the moment that you are going to start doing this because they are going they are going to collect all the information that you are going to send it. Okay, but I but it's a Google form, right? So I can set it again. Yes, that, that is what you have to do, that you are going to do it tomorrow. Okay, okay, and, thank and, you. And send it again. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, another thing that I would like to tell you is that I've been checking the, the platform and uh, there are some students that uh, need to complete some activities. And, I, and, and for that reason, sometimes I explain in Spanish. Uh, ya la mayoría sabe que tan pronto terminamos con la encuesta y cerramos eh, la última actividad. Yo cuadro notas y, y las envío, y si es posible, en el mismo día. Entonces, le suplico que si hay alguien que todavía le hacen falta actividades en la plataforma, eh, ponerse al día, ya que eh, pues terminando el, el módulo no podemos estar esperando mucho tiempo para que pueda realizarlas.
So you need to check it in order to be sure that you complete all the activities. And, and something else that I need to tell you is that you don't you don't have to forget um, that you need to get uh, an eighty percent in order to approve the, the module. No se les olvide que el ochenta por ciento es necesario para poder aprobar el módulo. Eso la el mismo sistema de de de, de lista que llevamos hace el cálculo. Así que cada quien es responsable si ha faltado o no. Eso se les explicó desde el inicio. I remember at the beginning, at the, in, in the first session, I explained all those aspects. And as I told you, today is a... Uh, the last class tomorrow, what we are going to do is just a review and and we and you are going to fill out the, the form that they ask you to do it. Y como siempre hay algunas partes que hay que darles algunas instrucciones. I know that you uh, you have been doing this for different module, but maybe suddenly um, you can have a doubt in order to how to do it. Como bien recuerdan, uh, para llenar la encuesta siempre lo hemos hecho uh, paso a paso, porque esas son las instrucciones. Y ya luego, cuando usted llega a la parte de, de satisfacción, eh, bueno, hay un apartado ahí que, que le dice si está satisfecho o no está satisfecho. Eh, y eso es muy importante entenderlo bien. Pero luego, eh, el día de mañana se le va a explicar en español para que se comprenda Okay, let me see the, what we have here. Yeah, this is class uh, number 25. Let me check out the attendance before we can start talking about Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Selena. Preston. Diana Stephanie. Eric Orlando. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Oh, is there, is there, okay. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Concepcion. Maria. Maria Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Is there Maria Elena? Is there too? Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. 
Mayra Veralice. Mayra Veralice. Not here. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you. Misael. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lizeta Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, Jesse. Okay, here we go. Okay, I remember the last activity. Uh, I sent you a document with some sentences in order to uh, solve it. And if you want, we can resolve uh, or compare today. But in order to start today, we are going to read. I don't know if it is possible that you can see it very well. Just tell me if you can see it. I'm going to. To do it in a different way. Can you see it very well? Or not? Just tell me. It is a reading. Hello. Se ve medio borroso, pero sí se ve, teacher. Oh, okay. Sí, se puede leer, ¿cierto? Sí, se lee. Sí. Let, let, let me try to do it in a different way. Hold on, hold on a second, please. I guess it's better here. Okay, I need that you help me. Uh, who wants to read? The topic, my parents don't understand my job. Who wants to start reading the file? Me. Okay. Danny Bangkok, Thailand. Do you know what a social media manager is? Right, of course you do. But my mom doesn't. Every week I try to explain my job to her. I work for a company that makes cars. My job is to tell the world how great our cars are. How do I do that? I get up early and write posts for social media. On weekdays, I go online at around 7 a.m. and sometimes at work until night. Not at night. The problem is my mom doesn't use social media. Oh, okay. Okay. What can you tell us about? Do you consider that some, sometimes it's really difficult that our parents understand what we do? Yes. More if it's about technology or, or the new digital era. era. I don't know how to say that. Because in my case, sometimes uh, when I was at my last job, I, were, were, I was working a long time in, in my computer and doing a lot of, of things. So my parents always want that I be with them and talk with them, but they don't understand that I'm not at computer only watching videos or or at Facebook that I was working. So because they are too old now, they, they don't understand that point. Okay. Who wants to read the next one, please? Next. Real teacher? Yes, please. In Carla Buenos Aires or other? 
Continue, continue. That one. This part? Carla yes. on style. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, teacher. Sorry. It's so funny. I explained my job to my dad, but he just looked very confused. Confused. I'm a fashion de designer. I always get up early on weekends because I love my job. I have an office. And most days I draw pictures of cool new clothes like dresses, jeans, and t-shirts. I also go to stores to look at fabric to use for my clothes. My dad thinks I'm crazy. He just going, goes to a store and buys stuff to wear. He doesn't know someone has to design it first. Design it first, okay. Any comments? Somebody wants to talk about this? Carla, Buenos Aires, Argentina. It is so funny. I explained my dad to my dad that he just looks very confused. And a fashion designer, I always get up early on weeks day because I love my job. I had an office. And most days I draw pictures of cool new cloth like dresses, jeans, and t-shirts. I also go to stores to look at the fabric to use my for my clothes. My dad thinks I'm crazy. He uh, goes to a store and buys stuff to wear. He doesn't know someone has to design it first. Okay, what, what, what do you think about this? Any comments? No? Okay, let us continue reading. What about Nico? Who wants to read it? Nico. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh, Nico attends Greece. So I am sociologist. I study people. Well, I study how people behave. And I also study why we behave the way they do. My mom and my dad don't understand why I do that. My mom says, Nico, people are people. They just do normal things. I don't agree. There are many reasons why people do the things they do. And I love to learn about that. Oh, okay. Any comment related with this? Take into account what uh, her, his mom says. Nico, people are people. They just do normal things. Okay, let us see the last. Lisa, who wants to read it? Okay. Lisa, Los Angeles, United States. I am software engineer, but my dad doesn't. 
knows what that means and taking that software is the technology and say his computer, his phone and his tablet. I make it apps for smartphones when apps helps people exercise more. It is very cool because it tracks everything you do during the day. You put your phone in your pocket and the app does the rest. The app track your walls to assure your bike, but right on the weekend and more. Okay, Lisa, Los Angeles, United States, and a software engineer, but my dad doesn't know what, uh, what that means. I tell him that software is the technology inside his computer, his phone and his tablet. I make apps for smartphone. One app helps people exercise more. It's, it's, no, it is. It's a very cool because it tracks everything you do during the day. You put your phone in your pocket and the apps does the rest. The app tracks your walk to school your bike ride on the weekend and more. Okay. What can you tell me about this rhythm? How can you relate it with the, with the process that you are following now? Maybe your family, uh, you, your maybe your wife, your your husband, or somebody else tells you, uh, why are you studying at this time of the uh, at night? I don't know. Maybe something similar happened. Teacher, oh. I am seeing uh, all our employees um, not very obvious jobs that many people uh, don't understand. Why is the people do? Yes, okay. And, and I have a question for all of you. Why do you think their jobs are hard to understand? Why do you think their jobs are hard to understand? Tell me. I don't know if you if you understand. My question. Why do you think their jobs are hard to understand? Give me a reason. And another question uh, is, which of the four jobs do you think is the most interesting? According to your point of view score. And the most use useful? And the hardest to explain? Tell me. Do you remember the fellow one? No? We talk about Danny. A social media manager. The second one uh, was Carla, a fashion designer. 
The third one was Nico, a sociologist. And what about Lisa? A software engineer. But the question is, why do you think their jobs are hard to understand? Tell me. No idea. Any idea related? No? I'm going to show you again. Maybe you can get some ideas. You have it there. Okay, tell me. Hello. I think the difficult one is and the one that have to to be connected with social media and technology because what I told at the first at yeah, the yeah. In, yeah you talk about that yeah or parents are too old for that things and if you talk about the so sociology they know about, about people and if you talk about a designer they know about fashion and all of that things and clothes so I think it's is a little confused to them and technology is more. Oh, okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? Hello. Okay. 
Let us continue then. Do you remember this um, activity? Yes, teacher. Okay, the question is, did, did, did you result or not? I am result teacher in the case. Did you answer it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. What, what about the rest of the class? Just tell me uh, if you did or not. That is what I need to know. That you give me an answer and, and say, yes, I did or no, I didn't. I don't know, maybe, maybe my microphone is not working the right way. Because only us two, two or three say yes and the rest they don't say anything about. I didn't, teacher. Okay. I okay. complete until the number 10. Until number 10? Okay. What about the rest? I didn't, teacher. You okay. send WhatsApp. I shared it in, uh, I guess, in, uh, in, in, in Zoom, the Zoom chat. In Zoom. Yeah, right here. Okay, maybe tomorrow we are going to have a little time in order to to compare, you, you, you have time uh, in order that you can continue working on it. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, let us continue with exercise number six. Let me tell you the page where are you going to find it. You can see it. Yeah. Let me see the page. Yeah. Teacher. Excuse me? Sorry. Eight. In the past. Yes, skirt in that way. Okay, right here, uh, what we are going to do is number the step for a simple counting program. And then you are going to compare answer with another pair. You got uh, number one there, select uh, two items, power, product, Finished good from your inventory for with one. Okay, I'm going to give you time in order that you can solve it. You are going to remember, number the step for a simple counting program. 
And then we are going to compare with somebody else. You have it in your material. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now? 13, okay. Okay, let us work with somebody else. Let me see the time that we are going to have in order to do this. And then we are going to compare with somebody else. Okay, here we go. Mayra, 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 Maria Elena is waiting. Mayra. Mayra.
Okay, according to your point of view. Uh, well, I guess uh, following the introduction, what you have to do is compare with somebody else. We have it here. Number one says select uh, 200 items, parts, products, finished goods from your inventory for with one. Uh, what about, let me see the list. Anna Lillian, could you tell us uh, which one is the second one for you? The number two. Uh, number two is number three. Could you read it, please? Is um is select a ah, number two is pardon sorry sorry number two is uh, divide it in, into cones of. Um, me acuerdo cómo se dice en cuenta. 50. 50. A day from to este strong, strong Friday. Ok, divide items into counts. O 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Say it, Tuesday. 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 Friday. Tuesday, Friday. Friday, day, listen, day. Friday. 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 Okay, you said that uh, number two is divide item into counts. Okay. What about, let me see, Escobar? What about you? For me, number two is a, a quality count and record all items. Uh, I currently count and record all items. Okay, listen again. I currently count and record all items. Read again. Accurately, accurately count and record all items. All items. All items. All items. Okay, thank you. What about um, Jonathan? Are you there, Jonathan? Jonathan. No. Let us see, Juan Carlos. In number three. Number two, number two. Number two. Yes. I count and record of late items. Ah, you got the same like Escobar. Okay. Okay, the la, let me see somebody else. Saira? What about you? Me, teacher? Yes, Saira. Okay, for me, in, in Mario, is a localized cause of error in record inventory record, correct inventory record. Okay, that, that is number two for you, okay? Number, number, number two? 
Okay. Or is other number? Mm, well, right here, what we are seeing is that uh, all depend on your point of view, how you uh, consider that could work in the best way. We think that they, uh, after we, we have the two, 200 items, uh, we have to check again. Ah, example, ah okay. If some, if some items are damaged or, or missing. Ah, okay. That, that means that uh, number two for you is, uh, it's a, it's a different one. Yes, because uh, we received the the, uh, the inventory for week one. Okay. But but I don't know if it's a it's a correct. Maybe it's good in in. But the maybe it's good the phone, uh, the box and etc. The items, the products. But I don't know if it. Uh, Either complete or or someone is damaged. Okay. I can see I can see in the in the in the Excel. I see I count two hundred. I receive two hundred, but I don't know internal have damage. Ah, I got your point. What you are saying is that maybe in the in the computer in the platform. We, if we want to call in that way, you can you can have uh, two different items. But what you need to do is just to uh, to see it in a in a physical way. That is what you are talking about. Yes, I got you. Point. Okay. Okay. Let us see uh, number three. Let me choose someone here. What about you, um, Selena? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Okay. According to your point of view, which one do you I consider have... is number three? Is number what? Number three? Um, I think is select another two hundred parts. Product finished goods from your inventory to week two. Ah, okay. That means that you move to week two. Yes, I think the first one you already know, right? Okay. And the second one is divide items into count of fifty a day, and then is select another two hundred parts. Ah, okay. Yeah, or group think that. Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody else. What about you, um, Laura Carolina? Here uh, is the teacher. Uh, I divide them into a con into con of 50 and day from Tuesday through Friday. Okay. Let me see. Um, Maria Elena. For me, it's the same. Divide items into accounts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Okay. Number. Number three. Okay. Okay. What about number four, uh, Mayra? I saw you are there, Mayra. 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 It's not here. 
Misael. Hello, teacher. What about you? Number four, right? Yeah, number four. Number four. Um, accurately count and recall all items. Okay. And what do you have in the previous one, at number three? Uh, I have a, at number three, select another 200 parts product. Okay. Okay, thank you. What about number five, Wendy? Wendy. Hola, teacher. Number five? Five. Mm -hmm. No, no sé, teacher. No idea. No entiendo el orden. No, no idea. The order, I don't understand the order. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't understand the order. Okay. Okay. Um, as you can see here at the top, the interactions and number, the state for a simple, simple counting program. <laughs> And what you need to do is just to try to look for a logical order. And that way you are going to have uh, every step. Okay, but let us see Yesenia. What about you? What, uh, could you tell us what do you have? Number five, which one? My number five is select other two hundred parts. This is my number five. I'll select another two hundred part product finished good from your inventory for weeks too. Yes, teacher. Okay. What about um uh, what about keep track all daily accurate Accuracy, variance, percentages. To me? To me, teacher? No, no, no. In a general way. Somebody that tell me in which number do you, do you have it? For the by acting into count of a 50 a day from Tuesday to Friday. My number three is keep track of daily occurrences. Oh, okay. Uh, divide, my number two, divide items into a count of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Okay, and cause of the time, what, what, what about number seven? Seven to me, keep checking until accuracy exceeds 97% for minimum of two weeks. Oh, okay. Sorry to stop, I need to check out the attendance again, I'm sorry. Let, let me do it this first and we are going to continue. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Is there? Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Selina. Present. Escobar teaching present. Escobar is me. Escobar is there too. I'm sorry. Uh, Diana. Eric. Jose Jonathan.
Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Eh, Laura. Present teacher. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, María Elena. Present teacher. María Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Mayra. Ay, so Mayra. Okay, um, Zaira. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Ahí está Yesenia Lisset. Okay. Okay, maybe you don't have a, a clear idea related with this uh, simple step, all the panel or the way that you see it. And, and maybe, uh, I don't know, I remember I shared with you some, uh, a kind of template uh, related with this in Excel. I, I remember I, I sent it. In, in a different way of square. But, but let me see the next exercise and then we go back, go back again. This one. Because uh, as you can see here in number seven, we have a concept related with this. Before we read the, the interaction here, we have uh, a concept here. Cycle count program or inventory accuracy count is a technique where inventory is counted on a cycle. Schedule rather than once a year. For that reason, say the following are some of its advantages. In other words, when we talk about count program or inventory accuracy count, it's a technique that you are going to use or that you can use in order to know exactly uh, what do you have in the warehouse. For that reason, uh, you need to follow an order in a logical order. And if we talk about logical order, most of you said that uh, number, let me see, number two, Some of you said that number two is uh, well. We we have different opinions related with this, but, but I, I, as I told you, all depend on the point of view that you follow that that you see. It. But. Uh, it is better if we follow a, a logical order. Because if, if the fair one is selects, uh, select 200 items, car, product, finished good from your inventory from week one, uh, what do you consider is the best option for, for number two? Of course, you already mentioned that after the concept that I read, 
which one do you consider is number two? No. Hello. For me, teacher, um, accurately count and record all items. But I don't know. <laughs> Let me do something before we just and clarify some. Okay, all right. Second, why? Okay, let me do it here in Nigeria. Okay. It is a simple word, but maybe you are going to keep it in the way that you are saying. It is related with this word. Uh, right here is the, the pronunciation of this word. This is the IPA symbol. Uh -huh. Can you read it, please? I don't. I don't. <laughs> it is? I don't. Okay, try try to keep in mind. Try to keep in mind because uh, maybe later on you are going to be with somebody else and you are going to continue pronouncing that way. 
and you are going to say, no, the previous teacher, the, he, he never said it or correct this word. Yeah, for that reason, I, I invite you to keep in mind. And uh, you can repeat it yeah, uh, at least 15 times in order that you can, and you can switch it in a different Okay, remember, um, you need to understand exactly what is what is the what is the, the information that we have here, and that way you are going to clarify uh, in the right way because we don't have exactly an order that we need to follow all, all the ten of your your logical way that you are going to see. It. But uh, let us continue with this one. Okay, run the benefit of implementing. Teacher, share the solution, the order. Yeah, please. what I told you, the, what I told you is this. There is no, uh, there is no any specific order. All the pen, uh, point of two in the, the logic that you are going to use in order to do this counting program. Uh, I okay. Know, I, I don't know if you got my message. Okay, in exercise number seven, run the benefit of implementing a cycle count program. One, the most important, and five, the least important. Then discuss your ranking and the benefits with the class. And right here, we got a concept the cycle count program or inventory. It's a technique where inventory is counted on a cycle schedule rather than once a year. The following are some of its advantages. And you are going to look for the number one till number five. Of course, that you are going to have, maybe you are going to put it in, in a different way, but we are going to discuss it later. I'm going to read it before uh, you go to work with somebody else. Uh, right here, it reinforces the, the importance of accuracy in your organizational structure. Generate uh, focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Improves your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory data. Health identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, return and fulfillment error, rises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. Okay, you are going to discuss with somebody else. You are going to have enough time to do this, and then we are going to discuss it right here. Let me see how many people. I got 14. I'm going to recreate groups. Okay, here we go.
Okay, um, related with the previous one, exercise number six, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me get bigger. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is the, 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 the order that, that you can have it there. Number one, the legs, uh, 200 items, car, products, finished goods from your inventory for which one. The second one. Divide icing into count of uh, 50 a day from Tuesday to Friday. The third one, accurately count and vector all items. Number four, keep track of daily accuracy variance percentages. Number five, localized cause of error and correct inventory record. Number six, select another uh, 200 par product finished good from your inventory for week two. And number seven, keep checking until accuracy exceeds 97% for minimum of two weeks. This is the order. And now, uh, you are going to use this order. Um, if you want, you can make a screenshot. It's up to you. Okay, now let's talk about, about this exercise. Okay, let us do it in the same way. Uh, what about you, uh, Yesenia? In your case, listen, in your case, according to your point of view, which one is number one? Uh, to me, generate focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Do you tell me why do you think it's the most important? Give me a reason why do you I I understand that that numeral is for increase the production. Maybe I don't know. Okay. What about you, Wendy? Wendy. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're the other. Yes, we number one. What do you have? The most important. I try. I try. Reforce the importance of accuracy in your organiza organizational culture. Okay. Will you tell us why? Do you consider it the most important? Yes. Okay. Tell us. Give us a reason why do you consider it the most important? Uh, for, for me, it's important the organizational culture in all events because um, um, it's a um, employees uh, take responsibility in all in all items or in all jobs 
What about me, Sahel? From my point of view, teacher, I choose um, the ones that say helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packing, leveling, returns, and fulfillment errors. Okay. Because and uh, the reason? Uh, because bec the reason is the idea behind the, uh, the, the work. Sometimes we can have some errors because of lack of organization. So it is important to avoid that, work on that. And I guess this is the, the idea that uh, must be the, the main one because the point is to avoid errors. Oh, okay. That means that uh, you are saying helps identify. Uh huh. Helps identify. Helps identify. Identify. Okay. Thank you. Let me see. What about you, Saira Marleni Larin? Okay, teacher. Number one. Yes, number one. For me, is uh, improve your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory date. Okay. And the reason why you consider it the most important? I consider uh, because allow them to manage faster inventory and date. That's all? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Maya is not here. Mario is a listener. Maria Elena. Yeah, teacher. Okay, share with us number one and number five for you. For me, number one is um, raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. And number five, this is number one. Okay. And number five, um, reinforce the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. Uh, Rise productivity as number one. That's good. If you can, can share with us the reason why do you consider that rises productivity and efficiency is number one? Because for me, the more important. is the most important. Okay. Because the step or in this um, number, um, talking about the productivity and efficiency and the reduce um, 
leading to reduce operational and inventory carry cost. Well, cost of the time. Let us work in exercise number eight. Your terms. In groups, organize a presentation of a proposal to implement a cycle town program. Use the step in exercise six to guide you, then support your proposal with the benefit that a cycle count program brings to businesses. And I show you, I remember, show you again, if you don't, if you don't have the, the picture, you can have it, this is the order. Based on this, you are going to work on your Okay, remember what you are going to do is just a, a simple proposal to implement a, a cycle count program. And you can use the step in exercise number six to guide you just to have an idea. And then if we have enough time, we are going to share it the rest of the class according to uh, number nine. Let me see how many we have now. What you are going to do? Tell me. No. We this group organized presentation. About what? In a step in exercise six. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see how many people are there in. Okay, try to work together in order that you can uh, do it. Hola, Diana. Buenas noches, ¿cómo estás? Sí, sí, es necesario. Tú tienes que escribir no, no, es decir, no, lo otro, no, es decir, la primera parte de la negación, después el verbo, después a votre père, o sea, a su, pa a, a su padre o a su madre, ¿ok? Y después se pone ni, ni porque acá estamos hablando de dos cosas, pero acá tal cual se tiene que poner, no se puede poner de otra forma.
Wendy, Wendy, Wendy.
Hello, sir. Hello. I have a, a, a few questions. Okay, tell me. About the homework. Okay. Uh, for example, the unit 1.5, I didn't have any correct. Okay, hold, mm. on. okay oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to say it. I've been seeing your grade. Let me see. Yeah, most of you already got your grades here. Okay, tell me. For example, in the unit 1.5.7, I didn't have any correct. In, let me check this. In the unit two, I don't know if the platform Fix the mistake. Uh, only only mark eight eighteen for twenty points. Okay. Um, Hold on. One point seven. You say. Yeah, but I I guess that that I have to. Maybe I, when the class finished, we can check line per line. Okay. 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 But the okay. the section. The triple fine. And let me check. Yeah, in the unit three. Okay, in section three. The last exercise, triple nine. Okay. What Keep about if, what about you if we check it at the end of the okay of, of the session because uh Oh, okay, it's okay, okay, I see. Yeah, the... Okay, okay. Well, I guess uh, all of you work in the presentation. Because uh, of the time you are going to have uh, the opportunity to, to present it tomorrow. Because, uh, well, I don't know, maybe one, uh, some of you wants to do it today, at least one. Peers who wants to do it today, you can do it. If not, uh, we can do it uh, tomorrow at the beginning of the of the of the class. Remember, I've been talking with you related with the uh, with the poll that you are going to fill. And uh, I need that you do it at the right time, that it is a sign for us, that it is 8, uh, 8.30 p.m. La encuesta lo, la haremos justamente como la hemos hecho siempre, a la hora que se nos ha programado que para el día de mañana está a las 8.30 paso a paso, step by step, el hecho de que ya tengamos eh, experiencia o que ya lo hayamos hecho, eh, no es de confiarse porque un error de un número es eh, sumamente dif difícil de poder eh, corregirlo. Entonces, ya en el nivel eh, de ustedes ya no se acepta ese tipo de... Por eso es que debemos de ir despacio llenando cada uno de los apartados que eh, la encuesta nos dice. Entonces, si ya les llegó el correo, que me imagino que ya tienen todos los datos de inicio, de finalización, eh, bueno, todo lo, lo general que llevo, 
les voy a pedir de favor que lo hagamos el día de mañana a la hora que eh, corresponde. El día de mañana solamente vamos a, a trabajar eh, una hora con 16 minutos, que es lo que nos resta de tiempo, que nos hace falta. Así es que tranquilos, ya prácticamente el módulo eh, ha finalizado, solo nos falta hacer un review. Y eh, revisar las actividades que todavía se hayan falta, ya acabo de verlas y ya todas las tienen. Les estoy diciendo esto en español y a colores para que se comprenda muy bien. Eh, yo sé que en este nivel de intermedio ya no debería de estar hablando español. Eso es entendible, pero lo he venido haciendo en comprensión de algunos que eh, por A o B motivo no han tenido la misma formación que otros y para eso es precisamente que lo he hecho, ¿verdad? Yo sé muy bien que, que, que ya a estas alturas pues ya no debería de hacerlo, pero sin embargo yo siempre he venido pensando en los que eh, más lo necesitan y por eso lo, lo, lo hice de esa manera. Así es que no fue con la intención de de que alguien se molestase si es que así se sucedió, sino que fue con la intención de poderles ayudar. ¿Verdad? Digo esto así de simple y de claro. Porque, bueno, la mayoría se ha fijado que a veces cuando tengo alguna pregunta yo siempre vuelvo y recalco y les digo, miren, ¿se comprendió esto? Y no es porque yo los considere que... que que cómo se llama, que tal vez no lo han entendido, pero entre medio de todo siempre habrá alguien que tal vez no lo comprendió. Y más vale preguntar que quedarse ignorante para toda la vida. Si es que ustedes no teman en consultar algo, si no lo comprenden, digan. ¿Verdad? Así es. Entonces, um, tomorrow we are going to continue, we are going to make a review. Related with, uh, with, with, with the last activity, maybe uh, for some of you is uh, maybe a little difficult to understand it, how you are going to deal with this kind of activity. And maybe for that reason, I explain it in, 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 in Spanish too. Because I know exactly uh, that As I told you in Spanish, sometimes it's really difficult for, for some of you to understand in the right way for different reasons. And I, and, I, and I understand. Okay, let me just cut the attendance now. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Eh, Ana Lilian. Present. Eh, Escobar. Selina. Present. José Jonathan. Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Ok, sir. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Ok. María Concepción. María Concepción. Is there, is connected, is connected. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, María. Eh, María Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Eh, 
Hubo un momento que me pareció que la vi a Mayrita, pero ya no la veo. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Ok, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Ok. Ok. Tomorrow we are going to continue with the, with this activity as I told you, and maybe we are going to make a review related with some topic that you need to have more idea related with that. And we are going to work on the yes. Uh, let me see how many minutes, 60, like uh, 76 minutes. And it, it is done to your, your module. And you are going to be able to go to the next level. Okay, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow. If somebody have a question, just wait at, until the end. Si alguien tiene alguna consulta relacionada con uh, algún ejercicio de la plataforma, se puede quedar al final. If not, good night and bye bye. See you tomorrow. Hello. Okay, good bye. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sure. Hello, sir. In the homework, the platform. Okay, okay. Uh, Maybe you are having problems. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need to see it. Okay, in number three. Hold on. Okay, three point nine. Is that one? I listen the triple night uh, homework. Read about what have safety procedures, then classify them into the following categories by selecting by letters. Okay. Have the A to A. The following are some measure, measures you could start implementing with your team. It is there. Mario? Just, mm. just a share. Let me show you. I guess it's going to be good if I show you. Mm. 
Okay, hold on. Some song with Seven Okay, I'm closing some windows because I don't have enough space maybe to Okay, I guess now I guess this one just tell me if, if if you are talking about this one. All right. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And what what is the problem that you have with this activity? Um, you only have 50, 50 points to 20, but when I choose all correct, always missing one. Mm. For example, the answer for the number one is A to G. Okay. The second, B to H. And the last one, C to E. And one is missing. One is missing. So on uh, 15 points above. And how many points do you do you, do you have? I guess it's a, a platform error. Oh. Okay. Okay, let me let me let me send the report because until now I got this information. The second one with the same mistake is the unit two uh, homework two two point eight because uh, have eighteen from twenty. Okay, it is exercise. Number? Unit two, exercise two point. Two point? Eight. Point eight, okay. Eighteen points of twenty. All mm -hmm. correct. Okay. 
Okay. And this one, the 3.9. Yeah. And how many points do you, do you got? Uh, just 18 to 20? Yeah. All correct. Okay, I'm going to send the, the, the comments related with that. Be because you are the first one that talk about this. No one else told me anything related with that. And the last one is 1.7. But I don't know if it is in the example, it is not fall to, to write the sentence. Okay. I don't know if you remember when you, if you know, if you remember when in the, in the last, in the last lessons, um, I, 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 I don't know how to say, batallar <laughs> with, yeah. for example, one word, uh, one point. Yeah, I know, I know that. So I don't know if you have time to, to review how, how, how I can, I, I grow it. Well, let, let me. Okay, Mario. Um, well, I'm going to send the the, the observation related with these uh, exercises. You are okay. the, the, yeah. the you are the first one that that, that tell me re something related with the, with those exercises. Anybody else told me anything about? I I can see because we we have to finish the whole platform. Ah, okay. We we the one hundred percent required. So until today, I keep online. Okay. I hope they can solve it before you can. Uh, you can resolve. It. Okay. Okay. I I think that only. Only that issue. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the last day for this module. Okay. okay. Good night to you. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.